hello welcome back students today as you can see on the board we're going to solve an interesting math problem that has to do with pythagorean theorem they gave us a right triangle and this side is measure six this side is measure eight and this side is x meaning that we need to find x so usually it's in the form of a question mark so we don't know what is the measurement for this side and that's what we want to find and we're going to use a formula a square plus b square equals c square in order for us to find this remember you will not use this formula for every triangle but as long as you can see this little square in here you know it's a right triangle and this is when you will use a formula there are times when you'll just have to find a missing length and you will not have to use this formula it's like let's say we have a triangle here is measured 60 degrees here 80 degrees and we don't know the measurement of this part so 80 plus 60 is 140 so we know the missing length here will be 40 degrees because overall the overall measurement of this triangle is supposed to be 180 degrees because every triangle measures 180 degrees so they gave us this and this and when we add 80 plus 60 we get 140 and 140 plus 40 that gives you 180 which is a total measurement of the triangle but remember for this one it's a right triangle and that is how we know that we're going to use this formula and here it's different because we're not focusing on the right triangle and that's how you will usually know the difference so let's go straight into solving the problem again they gave us six here eight here here is a question mark a usually x and we don't know what is x so we're going to find that so we're going to solve that by using a formula a square plus b square equals c square so a square is six so your six translated to six square plus the b square is eight and that's translated to eight square equal c square that we're looking for so remember in our recent exponent video six square is not six times two it's six times six which will equal to 36 plus eight square remember eight square in exponent is not eight times two but it's eight times eight which is equal to 64 so six square is 36 plus eight square is 8 times 8 which is 64 we get a hundred so we cannot say though that c square is a hundred so we want to make sure that we square our answer and when we square a hundred of course it will give us 10 and how do we know 10 because if we translated c into 10 remember c square it will mean 10 square and 10 square is 10 times 10 which will equal to 100 so we erase this question marker x and we know that this is 10 once again a quick review let's erase this while we review the problem remember here was x or at times it will be a question mark here we have the right triangle and you will know that in the form of this little square always and whenever you see that it means that you need to uses formula a square plus b square equal c square and remember we're looking for c square here which will be the answer for this x so remember from the problem how do we get the six square because a square is six square and b square is eight square and so six square remember it's not six times two but it's six times six in exponent and when we multiply that we get 36 and eight square it's not 8 times 2 but it's 8 times 8 which is 64 36 plus 64 we get 100 and when we square 100 it's 10 and 10 square it's 10 times 10 so we know that x our answer is 10 and the problem is solved so the missing length is measured 10 and it could be inches feet centimeter or whatever but I just chose to not use any at this moment okay so let's do another example here we have the right triangle so we want to continue with this theorem 
and find the missing length. So remember, this could be a question mark, or at times it could be a X. So we don't know what is this. And so we'll use a formula which says A square plus B square equal C square. And we know that A square is a 4, so it's 4 square plus the B square is 3 inches, so it's 3 inches square equal C square. So we're looking for this and we will find that as C square. So remember A square is 4 square plus the B square is 3 square and that will equal to C square. Again remember 4 square is not 4 times 2 but it's 4 times 4 which is equal to 16 plus 3 square which is not 3 times 2 3 times 3 which is equal to 9. So 4 square is 4 times 4 which is 16 plus 3 square which is 3 times 3 which is 9 and that will equal to 25. So we know that C square will give us our answer when we square that 25. So, so when we square 25 our answer will be 5. So C square, remember C will be translated into 5. Why? How do we know? Because 5 square is 25. So we'll erase this and we know that the question mark now is 5. Again, a quick review of what we did. Remember this is the right triangle. We know it by this little square in a triangle. And here was a question mark. We didn't know the measurement of this length. And so in order for us to find it in this right triangle, we use a formula A square plus B square equals C square. A square translated to 4 square plus the B square translated to 3 square. And when we multiply, remember 4 square is not 4 times 2, but 4 times 4. And when we multiply that 4 times 4, it gives us 16 plus the b square which is 3 square which is not 3 times 2 but 3 times 3 and when we multiply that that gives us 9 when we add the a square plus b square we get 25 and when we square our answer the square root of 25 is 5 so when we square our answer we get 5 again how do we know that we're correct because 5 square is 25 so when you square 25 we get 5 and so our answer is 5 so we'll put inches and the problem is solved I trust that you understand the steps and remember whenever you're finding the missing length of a right triangle you will know it by this little square and it means that you'll use this formula a square plus b square equals c square and you will use your exponent, add them, square your answer at the end, and that's how you will find the missing length. Thanks so much for tuning in. Remember, you can subscribe for more videos, much more coming soon.